Part 4. The Methodology of Sanford Meisner. Here, I'll be looking at the idea that acting is not a set of actions, but a reaction to what has just happened. I'll be looking at Meisner's repeat exercise and the knock on the door independent activity exercise. And I'll look at how we can apply this idea of spontaneity to a densely structured complex text written 500 years ago. Meisner's technique, essentially what he's saying is that, um, that what I'm doing is unimportant. What the other actor on stage is doing is absolutely vital. Whereas Stanislavski says, I have an action and I try to, to, to do that action. What Meisner says, well, no, your action is immediately relying on what's just happened, therefore it's a reaction to what's just occurred. Therefore, everything we do is in relation to what's just happened to us. This may, in relation to the creation of you know, the iambics and working on the actual text and stuff and the way we worked it the other day, this may on the face of it seem to contradict Meisner, the Meisner theory. If the text is the canoe floating on the river of emotion, and arguably you should not study the structure too closely beforehand, but should allow it to emerge in the context of the scene. As a starting exercise, Meister in fact often required access to speak the text without expression or meaning to avoid the problem of fixed interpretation. He goes on. However, with Shakespeare, iambic text it is both possible and necessary to operate a more analytical approach and to start by discovering the instructions contained in the language. Now the instructions what we were talking about the other day, wasn't it? Kind of, that's what we were touching on, yeah. There does not need to be a problem or contradiction with this because actors in all aspects of the work have to work with a combination of all the fixed and the variable. When working on a play, you will always have to incorporate many predetermined circumstances of the text, the production of the space inevitably imposes on you. So, what the Meisner actor does in relation to that is that the Meisner actor doesn't worry about these but sees them in relation to the analytical approach of the text, both using the iambic, using the um, the way Shakespeare's structured the verse, the, the words within the verse, to give a clear meaning. This is just another given set of circumstances, set of given circumstances, not of the fictional world, but of the real world of the plain production. These But the whole point of these exercises, it's not to do with the scripts, it's to do with the fact that you're reading each other. So there was a point where you were, you were raising your eyebrow, and then you were raising your eyebrow. So you raised your eyebrow slightly more than he did, and you were both trying to raise your eyebrow. And then you did this thing with your nose, didn't they? That kind of thing, where they went, you have a nose. And then suddenly the face all started to go up. It was really interesting. So that you were then having a break, and then you were kind of going, you have a nose. <laughs> and it was really fascinating. Because well, yeah, it's interesting because theoretically it shouldn't change, really. Yeah, it shouldn't. Because if I, if I do something, he should mirror it things in exactly the same way, and then it should basically stay the same. Yeah. Because we're just mirroring the same, the first version. Yeah. But of course... You, you're reading it, it changes, to the It changes because I see what I've done on him, which is going to be different. Yeah. So every time it changes. Yeah. As opposed to it staying the same. And because, because you say the same thing, every time we say something, it's newly created in the moment, isn't it? Mm. Yes. Just like a play. Yeah. 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 Come in! Sorry, mate. Have you got a blue pen? What? Have you got a blue pen? Yeah, it's in my bag. Yeah? Where's your bag? Can I borrow it? Sorry. Yeah? Okay. This one. Yeah. Oh, which, no, which my pencil is on there. Huh? My pencil is there, it's the other one.
words, yellow one. Yellow one. Let the words, let that kind of be surprised by what you say. Oh, I'm there. Oh, I'm there. Oh, yeah. I'm there. Almost too fast. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's in relation to a wise thing. Yeah. Yeah? All yeah. right. If it were done, when it is done, to a well, it were done quickly. If, if the assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch with his succeed success, that, but this blow might be the be-all and the end-all here, but here, upon this bank and shoal of time, we jump the life to come. But, but in these cases, we still have judgment here. Judgment here? We still have judgment here. Judgment here? Judgment here. And now, what news? He's almost such. Why have you left the chamber? He asked me. No, you're not here. We'll proceed no further in this business. He hath honoured me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people which would be worn now. Golden opinions? Golden opinions. Golden opinions? Golden opinions from all sorts of people which would be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Has it slept since? And wakes it now to look so green and pale on what it did so freely? On what it did so freely? On what it did so freely? On what it did so... On what it did so freely! If it were done when it is done, to a well it were done quickly. The assassination could trammel up the consequence and catch with his cease success. But, but this blow might be the be all and the end all here. But here upon this bank and shoal of time, that we, 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 we jump the life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here. Desire, wouldst thou have that which, in esteemest ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would, like the poor cat in the adage? In peace, I dare to all that may become a man. Who dares no more is none. What beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you durst do it, then you were the man. And to be so much more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. Nor time, nor place did then adhere, and yet you would make them both. They themselves have made themselves, and their fitness now does not make you. I have given sight. And know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from its boneless gums and dashed the brains out. I so sworn as you have done to this. 